Oh, we got a little emo spawn, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get two armadillo chain skirts. If it takes too long, I might end up giving up, but I will give it a fair shot and start it with VIP. I can't do Elite God Wars on the account because I'm actually doing it on Goba at the moment as well. You can't have two uh, accounts in the Elite God Wars. But I could do normal Armadillo, of course, just the regular God Wars dungeon. Armadillo isn't that dangerous like the normal version. In comparison to the Elite version, you would really want to have at least an Elijah and Spirit Shield. But uh, shouldn't be too much of a worry. Question is, how long would it take to get? We have a look at the drop rate. I actually have no idea. I know all the Elite God Wars are 1 in 50, but regular Kriara? Is that the same? Oh, it is. So I just gotta get lucky to hit the skirt twice, that's all, but... You never know when it comes to RNG. Come on, give me emo drop, please. Nope. Alright, I'ma just do a little change of plan. Honestly, doing 10 elites is gonna take for fucking ever. I already know it. Uh, even if this easy or this one is relatively doable, it's probably gonna take me all night to complete. But there are some other ones we can get done, such as killing 100k Qs that should be doable. And I think we should be able to get one single jungle demon kill. Like, even if it's a long dog shit kill, I just gotta get it once. And then just a third one. I don't know which third one, but I could even just do raid adapts. That's all. 10 adapt raids. Bada bing, bada boom. Find some people to run it with, with mods and shit. Done in no time. Probably. But at least it's a lot more guaranteed than the 10 elites. Or I could choose to do something like... Uh, Barbarian approved it does take a while though, so I'm not looking forward to it. it. Takes a few hours, but I have options, is what I'm trying to say. And Pyramid Plunder is pretty progressed now as well because of all the uh, hard tasks that ended up making me kill mummies. That helps a lot. But uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, here we go, boys. The final KQ kill. If I can get it right here, bada bing, bada boom, and that will bring me to a hundred. KQ kills, aka another achievement, but decision 2 done, 198 achievements now. Just two more to go, we're so close I can taste it. Alright, let's go to the most hated place in this game, the Karazi jungle and see if we can snatch one jungle demon kill. Of course, unfortunately I have to get gear first, because we have absolutely nothing. We check our little store's chest, completely empty. The chest opens? No, that it's a, that's a good sign. We just need to get some half decent stuff to get kills with, that is literally all. Just one kill, man. That will uh, bring me to five dailies, aka another achievement. Alright, trying really hard to get a, a few prayer pots ASP, only got one so far. Not too lucky on the potions in particular. Any from that one? Well, stamina is nice as well, I suppose. No super restores either, which just kind of sucks. Oops, I meant to drop the brew. But I want to go in here and then buy the leaf bladed battle axe. I don't have enough trading sticks. I thought it would be like 250. Oh, and I wasted 25 going in, so that's a little unfortunate. I need 50 more, well, 46. Doable? Okay, now we should have enough. Took a little bit, just a few kills and stuff. Leaf Blade of Battle Axe, that is a significant upgrade. I think with these three prayer pots, because we managed to find a few Karazi Druids, we should be able to kill it with a lot of effort, and it's gonna be slow, but doable, and there's someone fucking here. Got to be kidding. Alright, much time later, finally my turn now. Let's go kill this son of a bitch. Alright, any second now. We should get our jungle demon daily as soon as it hits a 5, either me or my stupid titan. Hello? Come on, man. Don't let the viewers wait. I turned on the recorder because it's 5 HP. There we go. Alright. Not even a sun spear. What a scam. Can you guys believe this? Not even a sun spear. What? Nah. Jokes aside, really have to get that done. That's another achievement. 199 now. One more to go, I just need one single achievement, doesn't matter which one, and we'll unlock elite achievements and get our only legitimate nightmare box where we can use whatever we get from it. Super excited to see it. 
Oh my god, I just opened a bag of riches for my first ever secret token. One out of 45. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be something, isn't it? Oh, I got a bonus chest. Wow, Runech. Okay, now I need to find one final achievement to complete. Let's fucking do this, guys. Oh my fucking god, we got another rope top. No freaking way. That was our missing piece. We got the actual set. What? I was not expecting that. Yeah, I decided to do Narda. In the last few seconds. Good thing I looted that instantly. Holy shit. Yo, that is so good for us right now. Holy fuck. It's only 2.5% 2, 2 magic, but until I get like Ancestral, this is gonna be best in slot for us. That is so insanely good for me right now. Fuck yes. I think we're already doing really good log wise. Two sand pieces, just the hat and the wand. I don't, I don't think the Chaos Mummy counts, unfortunately. Like if you kill it and you get a drop from that one, I don't think it counts towards the log. Fucking wish it did. But uh, damn, this is looking really, really nice. Oh, feels so good, bro. 2.5% on the ropes each. And then an additional 5% magic damage from the helmet. And 5% like magic damage slash 5% regular damage. I don't know which one I said in the first one. But all together, just really fucking good. Oh, how sick would it be to get the Nardalog? And we got it in the perfect order too. That could have been a duplicate rope legs or the hat, which would have been useless. But no, I got the rope top. Perfect. We need another 260 kills. By the time I finish that, I won't be able to commentate anymore, unfortunately. But we'll do a little whisper clip by the time we get there. Because the Nightmare Box, I'm not going to wait to open that. Fuck that. Alright, and this is the moment we've been waiting for. Pyramid Plunder 3 completed. Been a long time since I've uh, done any whisper clips. And I know you guys aren't a fan of it. But I think this is special enough to uh, not type it out in game. I know I personally don't like reading in that way at all. But um, yeah, that is the final achievement. 200 in total completed. And it should also now give the Runex Resurgent one right here. Oh, for a free crest as well. Holy shit. Didn't even realize that. 80,000 Runex points. Damn, we're almost at 2 mil now. Holy crap. Yeah, that is really good. Got a bunch of loot from all these uh, runs. Just gonna quickly check if we get anything useful out of it. Anything cool, crazy, rare, whatever. No, nothing special. That's fine. Now let's go grab our rune coins and go unlock elite achievements. And see what we get from our box. I am of course hoping for the helm. Am I uh, hopeful? Absolutely not. There we go. 200 achievements and 10k rune coins. Unlocked elite achievements and we instantly got one achievement done. That's the only one out of everything. Dial slacking. And that is the night terror. 100 kills. Nightmare box. I've explained it before, but this is the only box where whatever we get from this will be useful since we had to earn it in game rather than getting it from like a donation or anything. So this is gonna be the one. Will we get the Inquisitor face card or not? Please. No. It's a duplicate legs. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Elite merchant, I suppose, but rip. Alrighty then guys, I can finally commentate normally again. So let's go ahead and over what I did last night real quick. After a long, long struggle, we finally hit that 200 achievements and we ended up seeing that stupid Inquisitor legs. 
It hurt a little, I'm not gonna lie, it really did. I was so hoping to get the helm. It would have been absolutely amazing to get that piece. And I didn't really get to explain why too much because of the whispering, but basically, there's a good chance that in the next update, Night Terror will become soloable. Like, we're gonna get a HP rescaling. It's been noted, I don't know if it will be in the next update or the one after, but assuming it comes in the next one, it would have been really nice to have full Inquisitor, plus already got the blessing, to start soloing it when that does come out. But unfortunately, as you saw, it wasn't meant to be. We got a duplicate legs. Not all is bad about it. I mean, it is a elite merchant task. So if we end up seeing that, we'll be able to get 1000 tokens from that, which is pretty cool as well. Um, but there is something else I quickly have to mention. I went over my challenges yesterday and there are uh, actually uh, one more challenge, well one I didn't mention which was unlocking elite achievements. I did have it on screen because I put it in the title of the clip from my editor, but I didn't mention it in detail while it happened. And there was one more that I believe I completed. Let me go over it real quick. Right, complete the Fadion, Venonatus and Callisto achievements, which I got a while back but we'll just check it off right now, which was for a $100 bond. Completely forgot about that, but uh, there you go. Also, scratch that off the list, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I currently have $300 in bonds to claim, which I don't have at the moment, and an additional three mystery tickets, which I also don't have yet. We're gonna have to wait until I do another 500 in name. Um, it's gonna be rough to get like a grand promo and promo. For the promo package, I might hunt the fork I've had. That seems the more doable one, but I also have an achievement for like, or sorry, a challenge for completing six elite achievements. It's really nice to finally have it. We might end up trying to knock some out of the way. Some are easier than others, but Golden Shoulder Monkey is a lot of collection log points. Uh, a Skiller Tome 4, I could buy it with like an, an, another 800 or 900 skilling points, so that's a little rough. Um, I mean, not too bad, but it's doable, just time consuming. Like, that's a lot of urns, <laughs> a lot of rune coins potentially. Unlocking the Chasm Quaker is another one. Then we just have a bunch of 200 mil skill related ones, which don't really matter. Complete all Book of Divine God Wars dungeon tasks. I should probably do that at some point. Complete five Elite Wandering Merchant tasks. I'm really happy we got this now so that when we do an Elite, if we get the opportunity to do so in the future, it'll at least count towards this achievement. I don't plan to get all the uh, Elite achievements done anytime soon anyway, so it will be nice to just make progress on everything as we go. You can get a free epic pet box by killing 100 emos, gonna take some more time, we're only at 20. Equip a Cursed Shoulder Monkey, which is even worse. Grand Maxer, well, let's not talk about a Grand Max on this account. Getting Grandmaster Raids unlocked and then doing one with 5 afflictions. Defeat all superior slayer monsters at least once, will take some time, but very doable. Uh, I also did 200 demonic gorillas last night and I didn't see jack shit. No drops, no superiors, nothing, so that's a little unlucky. And jump 5 imbue stones, that will come. Defeat the corporeal beast 50 times. Matter of time. I, uh, I've i been camping a lot of e -corp horns on the MGI, actually, on the side. And we are now up to about 23 horns, I think. Almost enough to complete this achievement if I use them all. But I'm gonna continue saving them up. Uh, it's very nice to get 100 shards from it, but that won't be enough anyway. Like, I'm not gonna have 400 shards by 50 KC. Even if I get a doubled 100 shard drop, it won't be enough. So, I wanna get a lot, 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 a lot of e -corp ethereal beasts done over time. Now we have the luck 2 upgrade, I mean, I don't even have luck 1, I don't even have superiors yet. Obtain an affliction rate exclusive reward would be cool. Of course, these boxes will count as well if we get them and if I get something useful out of them, I'll be able to use it because it's earned from an achievement rather than like an in-name or anything like it. And then we have the challenge, obviously, defeat all bosses in the game at least five times with challenge mode active. That's a long road ahead of us as well. Stormbearer wasn't too shabby. It's mainly a lazy thing. It's not great, but it saves me time from having to turn, out, uh, turn on autocast again every time I switch weapons, which is why it was pretty good. Pretty decent. But the DPS isn't that great, it could really use a buff. Yeah, I think that about summarized everything. I wanna go ahead and do some Night Terror. It's not time to stream yet or anything, but I just wanna do some more kills. I really wanna finish that set, to be honest. Well then, didn't really get much uh, done today. Also left the evening. We'll be playing a bit more tomorrow, but uh, just finishing off one final Fire Cape for the Enchanted Cape. 
Gotta get a uh, infernal cape as well for the meteorite attempt. Assuming we don't fail the prize cape or the enchanted. And then uh, we'll see if we can get that and then go for the grand max, hopefully. I doubt it, but hopefully. Triggered. No fucking way, another chance. Please. No way! No fucking way, bro! You're kidding me! What is this? Oh, you're, you gotta be kidding, bro. Eight attempts. Okay. 